Oh, yeah. Hey, all right, put your phones away and computers, all that good stuff. Make sure you do that every class. Also, it, when you come in here, if you can get in the habit of just getting off Wi-Fi, it really helps us a lot to get, to, to get all of our equipment connected. Um, so I, I, I have a couple announcements. Um, first off, first off, um, this woman is speaking in this room tonight at 7 about climate change. Um, in my humble opinion, uh, if I were younger, yo, hang on, hang on, we're starting. Yo. If I were of the age, an age that most of you are, I'd be wanting to figure, learn as much about climate change as I could. Um, I think it's gonna be a really interesting talk. Seven o'clock in here. Okay, um, next slide. Uh, two things, Sunday night at midnight, uh, the, the syllabus quiz closes and um, the first weekly packback submission is due. Yo, hang on, so you, here's what you need. Y'all, y'all need to, yo, you need to, now you need to pay attention, like really pay attention. So don't wait until Sunday to register for Packback because you may not be able to and then you're going to run into some issues. So uh, don't do that. Get yourself registered and test it out. Make sure you're in good shape. Um, World in Conversation, just what it says there. Don't worry about it right now. You're going to get an email on, right around the 15th, probably on the 15th, and, and then you'll be invited to sign up for that. Okay, um, next thing. Um, you can put that up. So I wanna kind of say something about, something more about the class. I, I said it on the first day, I wanna come back to it while you all are sitting here. Um, I have this idea after teaching for 38 years that it's a waste of time, your time, for me to come in and talk about things that, um, that you can look up on your phone. Like, it just that doesn't make sense to me that I would come in here and, hey, we're gonna talk about white people um, and you may wonder, hey, how many white people are there in the United States? And I'm like, well, and maybe some of you think that I should tell you that. But I have this idea that you should just get, get your phone out and look it up. Like, why, why, would, I, why would I talk about anything give, that you can look up for yourself, right? If you want some perspectives on some issue, look it up on your phone. There are people that are far smarter than me that could answer most of your questions. Half of them are probably under the age of 20 and they're on TikTok. So uh, you don't need me for that. What, what I do is I like to come in and have the kinds of conversations that we generally don't have out in the world. And I like to, this is such a unique opportunity to bring that so many people come together in one place that we can ask questions of people that we never really wouldn't ask. And so that's the way I've decided to teach. The teaching, that Sushwan 118 would be. You, I don't know if it's teaching. I'm not sure what it is, but that's what this is. That's how I'm gonna cruise out for the remainder of my years inside of this body, still doing what I do. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing that you need, I really want you to understand is, I am really, really comfortable with these issues because I don't live in, in the kind of the world of continual judgment and fear that so many of us live in. I, I approach these things very much as a scientist would. And so last class, for example, when Isabella was up here and I said, wow, you look 
just part of you, you're white, you're European, so, you know, the vast majority of your DNA is coming from Europe. But I'm looking at your nose, and something tells me you have some Indian sangre in de los indios. Like, you have some, some kind of Indian blood. I don't know what it, maybe a tiny bit, right? Remember that? And then I'm like, hey, Isabella, turn, turn to the side here, right? And like, and like, to me, like, if I look at Awalid's nose, or my nose, look at his nose compared, dude, are we up? Are we on? Are we running into an issue? Hey. Yeah, we need to get. All right, hang on. So, um, hang on one second. So, um, so for me, I like, I, I don't just, let me just take our, look at our noses, for example. Look at, look at all of our noses. Oh, we can't. Damn, you can't do that because the green, our camera isn't working. It's going to work in a second. But um, for me, I don't, what well, I see something like noses as a, as a, as it, the shape of our noses is like an accumulation of thousands upon th thousands of generations of human history and DNA and people passing DNA on to their progeny. And one isn't better than another. It just is what it is. It's a curiosity to me. And so I don't look at people like I don't look at you and, and I don't look at Stella here and Damalari. Damalari. How'd I do? Damalari. I don't look at Damalari. I don't look at Domilary and I look at, I don't look at his nose any differently than I look at my nose. Like, it's good. So if I start talking about him and I'm like, hey, dude, turn to the side, let us look at it. And it, it is what it is. So, you know, you might think, oh, you're not really supposed to do that because, you know, like, oh, that's kind of strange. You're, you're pointing out, you know, his nose or Awali's nose. And it's like, no, 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 it's, it doesn't matter. Like, come on. Like, Lighten up, people. The problem is what we've done is, and, and I'm saying this not because anyone s said anything. I'm saying this because I think it has value to us. And, and um, the, the, the issue is that we want to talk about these things in a way that is interesting and fascinating, okay? And so that's what we do and that's what I do. And so I want to just, I want you to hold that. Because, um, because that's what happens in here. So don't, you know, get all like, you might feel uncomfortable now and then with something, but that, you know, that's okay, right? That's okay. But you don't have to. All right, so um, here we go. Why don't you, let's, Awalid, introduce yourself. I just did, but you can introduce your last name. Do you have one of those really long, Arab last names? Not really long. It's Al-Walid Al-Turayf. That's it? Yeah. Oh, you, the full name. No, no, I want the full thing. Al-Walid Al-Turayf, Abdullah Saleh, Muhammad, Ahmed, Ahmed Al-Turayf. Oh, wait, hang on, man. All right, hang on. Wait, say that again. Go ahead. I could go to the tribe, too. No, no, no. Okay, do, do the whole... I stopped at the family. All right, do the whole thing, starting with your tribe. Okay. Oh, oh starting with so my family. family and then tribe. Okay, so Al-Turayf, Al-Turayf, al this is just like family, okay. part of the family, and then the All tribe. Right. Oh, dude, you're gonna go, like go through everybody. If if we wanted to have a long conversation, no, yes. give me like okay, give me like ten names. Okay, that work. So, Al Walid, Tayyib, Abdullah, Saleh, Ahmed, Muhammad, Abdullah, Al Tayyib, Al Thori, Asbay. Dude. I'm surprised. You, you remember all that too. Yeah, it's from the Chi. So. Yeah. Okay, I got you. And no, wait, I didn't hear Muhammad in there. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no like Muhammad. The, but, the, but, of but, all those names, there's not a single Muhammad. My brother's name is Muhammad, actually. So Yeah? Yeah. It's See, I had a guy in class whose name was Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad. I'm like, <laughs> that was pretty easy, right? See, the most like, common name, so yeah. So. Yeah, okay. I, I, <laughs> Dude, all right, man. So where are you from? Uh, I'm actually from Saudi Arabia. 
I'm a junior student majoring in petroleum engineering. Okay, awesome. Dude, yeah, dude. Got a good, good, good and audience. By the time you graduate and the world doesn't need any more oil, um, will you be, what, come back to school and get like a... Not anytime soon in Saudi. Yeah, all right. All right. Hi, so I have a rather shorter name, I guess. Um, my name is Stella Cho, and I'm from Seoul, South Korea. I'm a senior studying international politics and Japanese as double majors and minor in entrepreneurship and innovations. Nice and and what's your, you Korean, your first name, your Korean first name? My Korean name is Seon Cho. Like Seon. And my last name is Cho. Seon Cho. Okay. Damalari. Okay, so I'm from Nigeria, and my first name is Damilari, and my last name is Ajumobi. Uh, Wait, what's say your last name again? Ajumobi. Uh-huh. And I'm a pre-med major, a junior, and yeah, that's about it. And, and what tribe are you? I'm from the Yoruba tribe. Yoruba? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, by the way, you should know this, that those of you who maybe aren't like thinking about this, around the world, we still use the word tribe. And like in Europe, Europeans used to be tribes. And then we just stopped using that once we developed these nation states in Europe. We started, stopped talking about people as being in tribes. But for centuries, we always talked about people, our tribes that we were in. So, um, okay. So thanks for, uh, we're going to, we're still talking about white people, by the way. Next slide. And so what I want to do, by the way, um, one final thing about this class is we, no two classes are ever the same. It's been going on now for, I don't know, like 15 years. And I never, we never know what we're going to talk about. There are semesters when I, we never talk about white people at all. We just happen to be doing it two days in a row today because I had some questions that I didn't fully get answered. So what I want to know, so you all, so Nigeria, Korea, although you spent time in the U.S. and you spent time in Japan, right, and Saudi Arabia. Have you lived anywhere else besides? No, just Saudi Arabia. Okay, so what I want to know, start with, what do people in your country say about white Americans? You, want, you don't want to say? I don't want to start. I just want to... Yeah? <laughs> well, thank... All right, Ma. Do you want to go first? And so the question is, like, what do people talk about when you talk about white Americans. And, m and maybe they don't. Maybe they only talk about Americans. But wh I want to see if we can go into this. I wouldn't say they talk about white Americans. It would be white people in general. Uh huh. And is more so... How do I say this? Do you, and you can't offend anybody. Because you're not talking about you, you're talking about the conversation in your country. So don't worry about offending anyone. It's really most of our interaction with white people from home is when a few number come to the country as expatriates or uh, what we see off the media. So we don't really have like a, like a defined view of them, apart from the fact that the British, when the British came and they ruled over us, and the way they installed our country, how it is, how it came to be, and how they like said some of our hairstyles were bad or stuff like that. So apart from that, that's really what comes to mind when I think of white people, not okay. white Americans. Okay, so when you think about coming to the United States, Yo, yo, wait, hang on. Hey. Hey, um, also, I, I have to say one other thing. Um, you, you, you can't talk in here in class, okay? You really can't. And here's why. Because if just a couple of you do, you don't, know, you don't really notice it, that it gets loud. But down here, there's like... Two people here, 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 and suddenly, you know, there's like 20 different people talking, and down here it gets really loud and very distracting. And when it gets loud and distracting, then I'm distracted, 
They're distracted, and we're not going to have a good conversation. And if we don't have a good conversation, then you waste your time, which you don't want to do, okay? So, so when you think about coming to the U.S., where, where, are, you go- where, where are you Where were you coming to? Like, who's here in the United States? When I think about that, uh, we go back to when you were, com- you know, preparing to come to the U.S. So when I first came, I came with the perceptions of all I knew about the U.S. from TikTok, Twitter, or what I see on CNN, stuff like that. But when I first came and I met uh, white Americans, Black Americans my opinions start to, started to change. Uh, at first, when I first came, they were like really nice, like really nice people. You talk to, at the airport, you talk to a white person there, and they're very welcoming into the place. Mm-hmm. And I think I've, spent, I've been here for like two years now. So by now, I think it's not uh, they're being nice, it's more so work ethic. So the customer service is really good. So people are taught at work to be welcoming, regardless of where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and do you have you noticed a difference between white Americans and black and brown Americans? Your just your experiences. Just focus on you, not like what you've heard. Just focus on you in these two years. By the way, do you like? Is this is this not? Haven't you always wanted to ask an African this? You know what I mean? Like, fuck, my whole life I've been waiting to ask an African that question right there. You got here to the U.S. What's the difference that you've seen between your interactions with white people and black and brown people? Right. Okay, so... First off, when I came, I would say there's a point of privilege that Americans in general all have. Mm-hmm. Uh, they live in a different world that is normal to them. So that was like the first shock. Uh, so Americans in general? Americans all, in general. All Americans? Yes. Yep, okay, got it. Which changes the game. That's kind of what, how we ended class last time and talking to Maya, right? Yeah. It's like, whoa, 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 hang on a second, right? Okay, go ahead. And for white Americans, uh, the couple of them that met me, that came towards me, and the freshman year, talking to people, a lot of them are curious, very curious, uh, from where you're from. Although they already have like perceptions about Africans in general, because when I first came, I didn't actually see myself as African. Yes, I am African, but back home, like, nobody says, yeah, I'm African. You say where you're from, your tribe, yeah. and then your nationality. So you have to get used to answering questions from white people like, oh, uh, so you're from Africa. Uh, actually, I've been to Zambia or something like that. And you have to, like, answer in a way that is nice because you, you also understand that they're trying to, like, relate to you in some form. Yeah. But still, it has no relation to me because I've never been to Zambia. I've never been to even the northern parts of my country. So, so, so right. So that would be like so, you, someone going there and you saying, "Oh yeah, you're. Oh, you're from North America. You're from the U.S. Oh, I was in Mexico. I was in Cancun once. Yes. yes yeah. Basically. Like, so you see that, right? Y'all, y'all get that. Or like Ecuador. Oh, I was in Brazil. It's like, yeah, okay, right, okay, all right." But, but you find, but what, I, what I'm hearing, though, is what you're finding with white Americans is that they're, also, they're curious. And, and how is that for you? It's both, uh, it's, it's nice, it's interesting, because you, you can see when someone is genuinely, like, curious about where you're from, mm-hmm. has no idea, like, has never been to the continent, sees like you have a whole different way of life. And 
often when I say I'm from the Yoruba tribe, especially when you say tribe, yeah. like, there's like a glow in their eyes. It's like, it's, it's like, oh, you're from this tribe. And then... Even to hear you say tribe, because we learn that you can't say tribe, man. Oh, wow. I mean, we learn that. Tribe is a thing that we talked about that has a negative connotation to it. Tribe is connected to uncivilized. Like, it's a word from way in the past, right? So we've kind of learned to not say that. But go ahead, go ahead, yeah. Just on what you said, I did realize that because uh, there was a time I had a conversation with my friends and it was about a popular YouTuber, KSI, and I was like, oh yeah, he's from the Yoruba tribe too. And when they heard me say tribe, they were like, oh wow, like, uh, do I know his uncle or something? Do I know his dad or something? And yeah. like, so I learned then that every time I said tribe, they already had like this old school, like me holding spears and yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, exactly. That's, that's the thing. That's what, that's what we get. Yeah. It's like you and camels, you know? It's like tribe represents, again, uncivilized spears, walking around with half clothing on sort of thing. But we don't understand that people still, that's really, really important. And there's, you know, I mean, in Nigeria, how many tribes? Like, I mean, there's hundreds. There's like 200 tribes. Yeah, two, like 270, I think it's 270 something. Yeah, it's more right? than 200, yeah. But there's three main, th the tribes, largest, yeah. yeah. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step off of this a second, but I just want to point something out. Did you hear him say, make a reference to being from the continent? Like Africans say this, right? Sub-Saharan Africans. Do North Africans say that? You go, the continent. That means Africa. Do you say that? Like in Tunisia? Yeah. Like we, you don't get that here in the United States. That's the thing, because that's the center of humanity, of the continent. It's the motherland to all of us. So, you know, it's just interesting how you threw that out there, a language thing. Okay. Thank, thanks, man. We're going to come back to you. St Stella, um, I don't remember. Well, wait. I know. Can we? I want to I wanna just, can you? Oh, no, we can't do that. All right, never mind. Stella, it's the same question. Um, I don't remember what it was. Yeah, what do people in your country, we're going to do Korea here, okay? What do people in your country say about white Americans? I don't exactly know like what, how they would respond hold, when hold they Hold it close. Oh. Um, I think people No, no, no. What just in general? Like what's the con Is there or is there a conversation cuz maybe there isn't. So let me sorry to interrupt but yeah. Okay, go ahead. So there are a lot of um, foreigners featured in like TV shows in these days in Korea. So and most of them are actually mainly white. So when people think, uh, people in Korea think of foreigners, white, um, white Americans are almost instant, think, like instant stereotype, okay. how they would think of as a foreigner. Hold, yeah, hold the mic really okay. steady. So when you, so, okay, so in Korea, when you're thinking about your experience, this is your experience, by the way. So understand, when, if you, and especially if you're watching the live stream and going, oh, that's not how we do it here. Look, that, this is their experience. So you might have a different experience or anybody in the class. It's all good. So when people think about foreigners, like in, from the West anyway, mm -hmm. they, it's associated with white. Yeah. So it wouldn't be Tay here. Like if, Sorry, no. No. Okay. All right. So what, and what do they say? Like what's like a... So... They're typical white, so I would say. So they're usually blonde, blue eyes. So people would say something about appearance, like being beautiful. That's usually like how would they think in the first place, like instantly. Uh huh. Um, culturally. Wait, hang on, hang on. Sorry. Whiteness is associated with blonde and blue eyes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's big. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and is that seen as the most, and you're saying that's kind of seen as the mo maybe more beautiful or more? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, go ahead. I actually like have been out of Korea for so long that I don't know how recent like Korea No, but go, would but go to your experience back because. Um, go to my experience of. Yeah, just your experience in Korea. How did you, when you were young, think about Okay, so my uncle was Canadian and he was blonde and 
um, blue eyes, and that's how I spoke English, how I learned to speak English. Uh -huh. So I was never afraid of like talking to foreigners in the subways when they needed help or something like that. But um, most of my friends, like who were educated and born and raised in Korea, were usually like they would not step up to talk to them because. I don't know, we're, like, it looks like, even though we're in the same space, it separated us from different, like, culture, like, uh -huh. different space. Uh-huh, okay. So you, let me ask this to you. So you're from the uh, more upper, upper middle class? Yeah. Upper class? Yeah. Okay. I would say so. How do you talk about, how do people in your class talk about or think about poor white Americans? How do you, just here, even in the United States, when you go, when you're like outside of State College or in certain, you go to Walmart and State College and you know, you're, you're seeing all these white people who are not rich and white and beautiful and whatever, like how are they, how are they perceived? Like, how is that? Is that, do they enter the conversation? Is that? How I interact? No, how, yeah, how do you perceive them? I feel like I'm not gonna answer the direction that you would answer, but I've been in the U.S. for so long that I just see like when I see people in Walmart, I'll see like there are people in Walmart. Um, they're just they're Americans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's different than in Korea, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Um. So, what do, so what do people in Korea? Let me ask you this, right? Is there anything that people associate with your experience, right? Okay. Koreans, even Koreans here, like they associate with white people. Do they, how do people, what do people associate with white people? Okay, rich could be one, um, wealthy, like American dreams could be in mind, Marvel. Um, Wait, so you're telling me that people overlook poor white people, they're not thinking about poor white people? No, not usually. Okay, that's my experience also. Yeah, I don't think... I don't know, like, I don't think people think about um, poor white people when they think about, like, white people. Mm -hmm. I think they just, I don't know, what you search on Google image, like, white people, like, that would what Koreans would also think. I okay. Think. Yeah. In pro, when, would you say that in Nigeria, same thing? Not really. Uh, how often do people think of white people and have and break down the classes? Upper class white people, middle class white people, working class, poor white people. Is that ever a conversation? I would say it's never really a conversation and the few times we think of white people in general is more like yeah, upper class. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. So that's this so this is actually really illuminating, right? To me. It's like, whoa, when most white people aren't rich. And that, you know, is this kind of conversation. I will, okay, I will lead. Hi. All right. We, back in Saudi Arabia, how do you all think and talk about white people? Okay. I didn't want to go first because I want to think about it a little bit. Okay. But I want to say that in Saudi, um, the, way, the place where I live in, like in the eastern side from Saudi, Mm -hmm. uh, we do have a good realization of how white people is because we do have a lot of like uh, white Americans uh, working at uh, Aramco mm -hmm. for like the oil company and they've been working the there like from the 50s or like even before that. Yeah, and so you know the, the eastern province is really where Aramco is centered and so when you, someone says they live in the eastern province it's like you know they're working for yeah. Aramco. So, and Aram can you just say what Aramco is? So Aramco is the largest oil company in the world, and it's centered in Saudi Arabia. And Bahrain. they control your lives. All right. All right. Kind so go of. ahead. Ah, oh, they do. They control the world. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So white people. Uh, yeah. So, from like my point of view, I have like talked to white people before, and I've been taught by some white Americans, like in the class I've taken before. So, from from my point of view, I have talk to Americans that I don't know I do know how like um, how they think about us once they're there at Saudi they just say we did have like a bad 
uh, idea about Saudi and how they're like really like most of them are terrorists and stuff like that and they're not, not good people and they all hate uh, yeah, like white Americans or like Americans in, in, in general. So, so they don't hate. So th before coming, yeah. they're like scared. They, say, they feel yeah. that we're all hating them. But once yeah. they're there in Saudi and they do see the community there, they change their minds. So from my t point of view, like Saudis in general, like in all parts of Saudi, uh, they do know that there are like a good percentage of Americans who hate Saudis. And um, I know that so there, by- so, Hang on, hang on. So let me be clear, right? Yeah. So in Saudi Arabia, yeah. there is the sense that, okay, a lot of Americans really hate, do not like Arabs and Arab Muslims and Saudis in particular. Yeah, uh, it's especially clear because every like, I don't want to get into politics, but whenever like a U.S. president want to like run as a candidate, yeah. the first thing he's he's gonna do is like, he's he's gonna try like saying bad things about Saudi. I'm gonna mix them with the pariah and stuff like that. So once uh, I know that like whenever you're running as a candidate, you want to get as much votes as you can. Yeah. So if you want to like say some hate speech about some people and you're gonna get some more votes, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, wait. All right, hang on, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! All right, but hang on. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just sidestep that question for a second, not because I. It's just I don't want to go down that path. Okay. Um, it's an interesting path. Okay. Uh, do you make a distinction in Saudi Arabia between white people and other people in the United States? Uh, the topic of race isn't really like a really popular topic. I think even when you look at the like the Saudi ID, you wouldn't find like race as a thing. Okay. Like okay. here in, in, uh, in the US, I've especially like, uh, whenever like a uh, US officer st 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 stop, stops me, he asks me like, what's your race? Or like, you mm -hmm. know, and because it's not like mentioned there, it's like white, but I'm not white. Okay. Because Middle East is not okay. white in there. All right. Okay. But, so now, but go back to Saudi. Okay. When people are talking about America, do they ever talk about the different racial groups in the United States? Talk about black people and white people and Asians, or is that part of the conversation? Yes, of course, especially when the, like the uh, Black Lives Matter thing happened and like there was um, this black backlash, like uh, there was like, in Saudi especially, there was like some conversations about how like things is happening in, in the US like because they people there start like I can Saudi they think that US people are some sometimes racist to the minorities okay so, okay hang on so there is a conversation about how Amer white people because you said US people but you, what you're talking about is yes, white, white people white are white can and, or sometimes or often or whatever the case is what would you say sometimes often I would, say, I would say sometimes when when there's something viral happening, then it's like it's, it's racism like, and white people are being racist, to, right? And to, it's, it isn't like Americans; it's just generally the West. I would the say. West, okay. Yeah, so from like the all, Middle Eastern like point of view, it's just the West, like okay. Europe and you know, the U.S. Most okay. probably it's the U.S. because a lot of things happen here. But when you talk about racism, you are who do you have in mind? Who do people have in mind? White people in Europe and in the U.S. I wouldn't say that. No, you you would or you like wouldn't? like you want would, to say that? No, no, I I, I wouldn't say that Be because how, what do you mean when I think of racism? I think of no, no, no. People. When you're having a conversation in Saudi Arabia about racism about the United States and racism in the United States, and you say, oh yeah, but there's this racism in the U.S. Americans are being racist. Which Americans? White Americans? Or black Americans, yeah, white Americans, or brown Americans, not Asians. So like Stella, people look like Stella. I haven't heard like some things like talking about like black and like Hispanics or something like that. It's, just, it's, it's just mostly white like people. white beings, something like doing something to minorities, it's doing just, something to minorities, and, in, and including m maybe doing something against Arabs. Yeah. Is there, is there, so you have the idea that, yeah, a lot of Americans don't like Arabs. Do you have the idea that black people don't like Arabs? Black Americans don't like Arabs or is it white Americans? I think because here in the U.S. we're a minority like them. So they do like feel us because there is some like hate. 
not against Arabs, let's say just Muslims at this point. Okay, because all right. So when, I, when I'm looking around, so here, I want to just stay with this. I'm, I'm, not, I'm trying not to, by the way, I'm, not, I'm trying not to put words in his mouth, right? I'm trying to just clarify. It's like really, so when I look around the room and I see, well, Damalari doesn't, he doesn't count because he's Nigerian, but you wouldn't know that. You would just see, a, you'd assume he's black American. But when I look around the room and I see black people, so most Saudis back home, if they were here, they would assume like, okay, black people, you experience, they, all these people here experience some racism at the hands of white people. So like they would kind of understand where you're coming from and white people are the problem. I, I would say just like generally speaking. Generally not, speaking, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. not all, everyone because there are some people from all different races. I've been like through some experiences where people were like, racist to Arabs or to Muslims. Yeah, okay, I got you. No, and, and, and Arabs, I'm, and we're not, we're not even talking about the racism among Arabs, right? So we, we, can, we can go there and by Arabs toward other people, right? We can go right. there in a hot minute, but we're not, that's not on the subject today. So if you're thinking, oh, Sam's not going down this other route because he doesn't want to offend I will lead. It's like, no, dude, I'll offend our lead in a hot minute. I'll throw him under the bus. But that's just not the conversation today. OK, so final question. Okay. How do white people? What, what year are you? I'm a junior student. OK, so you two years you've been here. How what has been your experience with white people in the United States? So my first experience is uh, in the like, first year seminar class. Uh, it was like one of the first conversations I had. It was with a white dude. He just like, he said, do you ride camels? Yeah. And he, so he, you're, and he, and he looked like really, really like, he was asking like, really? Like, do you, re do you ride camels? So he wasn't even joking. He wasn't sarcastic, you know? Dude. So what you discovered about white people, at least this guy, is he's really interested in camels. All right. So what, what else? Okay, so, but what else? Like, what's just your general when you go out in public? It's like, what's your experience of white people? Okay, one time I was in Beaver Stadium. Okay, yeah. I was waiting for my friends. And this guy comes, okay, he was offering me a beer. I, I said, like, oh, I'm a minor. I didn't want to say I'm a Muslim. I just said, like, oh, I'm a minor. I, I can't drink. I look young. So I was like, I'm a minor. And he was like, uh, oh, yeah, where are you from? And I was like, uh, give a guess. And he was like, oh, India? I was like, no. He's like, okay, okay, what about... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm from the Middle East. And he was like, oh yeah, I've been to the Middle East. I've killed some like Middle Easterns and stuff like that. And he was like, he was a little drunk, I wouldn't say, but it was really, really like bad. Like he, he wasn't like, I, I would say he was conscious, okay? He said, I, I killed some Iraqis and stuff like that. It wasn't like really a good conversation. But, uh, and then he started like talking about the FBI and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, are, you, are you okay, man? Uh, so you're asking him if he's okay. Yeah, I didn't say that. I was, I was scared of my life, of course, because <laughs> if I said anything, if I, I, didn't, I just said Middle Eastern. If I said Saudi, he would, I don't know what he would do. You know? Okay, okay, okay. You, have, you gave me two experiences. What about, dude, you've been here two years. There's a whole bunch of white people that you're interacting with. What is your average interaction with white people? Okay, okay, let's, let's talk about the average. Uh, like, okay, so most probably here, people are like educated in the university. Yeah. So I think- uh, Except the guy that asked you about- Yeah, yeah, camels. that guy, that guy. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so most, like, most probably, especially like in the engineering, Petroleum engineering, a lot of professors are like, they have a good idea about Saudi and like Muslim people because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's like a, a lot of Saudis in, in the petroleum classes. So I didn't, I don't feel like from day to day, like, okay. I How don't. about your other classes? Do you like, I want to go back to what, what he said. He said like he meets people, people seem really nice. Are white people nice? On average? Yeah, yeah on average, yes, yes. They're, they're kind, uh, especially here in State College. But I want to say like, before coming here, I've thought like life is really like dangerous. So I do have like, the same like thoughts you guys have back like home in Saudi. I do have thoughts like Dios is uh, like dangerous, there's serial killers, all kind of stuff, you know? So yeah, it's just like, it's a stereotype. I just was scared of my life once I came yeah. here. So once I, I went with my family to Philadelphia and we arrived at night, it was really, really scary. Like, I don't want to offend anyone from here from Philly. I, I, I guess, like, there's a lot here from Philly, but downtown Philly is really scary. 
Dude, Tay knows, man. She's from Philly, and that's why she's here. She's like, shit. All right, okay. All right, okay. So in other words, white people are okay. It's black people. Uh, they're scary. White people are all right, though. No, I didn't say that. I thought he just said that. Didn't he just say that? I said oh, no, Philly. You said Philly. I okay, said you Philly. Said Philly. All right, in fairness, you did say Philly. All right. I guess, I guess no, I'm the it racist. Wasn't, it wasn't, no, no, no. It wasn't like black people. I, no, no, no. You're, you're putting words in my mouth. I know I am, dude. I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm talking he's generally. Good. No, no, he's all good. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Bro, um, when you... Did I, have I said anything that like pops out for you? Has, has, did he say anything that kind of comes out of like your, what's, what's your general experience of white people? As a, as a, you know, someone who's East Asian, Korean. Your general experience, not like, you know, we're, we're going to talk about specific experiences. When I introduce myself, I'm from, I'm from Korea, then the follow-up question usually comes up, are you from North or South? So, like, I'm sure someone has asked that question. It's not, it's somehow it's not really offensive question, but I think it's a bit ignorant question. Like, have you been on the news? Like, would I be in the U.S. if I were from, well, okay. No, the chances are the highly chances, unlikely. Yeah, the chances are highly unlikely that I'm talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, and then, and then just what else, though? What's your average perception of white people? So most of my friends that I met from Penn State are white. They're usually in sororities. Um, are they nice? Are they? Yeah, they're nice. They're my friends. So, but when I'm on FaceTime, when I'm back in Korea and I'm, like, on FaceTime with them, they always ask, like, is there Starbucks in Korea? Like, they always ask, like, like stuff like that. Stuff thing, uh, like them thinking that cr some other country other than the U.S. is underdeveloped or like, un like not Westernized enough. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, okay, so one of your experiences of people is that unique to white? Is that all people? That's that can't be just white people because like, <laughs> um, black and brown people are pretty not very aware either. Could be, but um, unfortunately, my friend group is not that diverse. Okay. So I can't really say that, um, not intentionally, but like being in Madison, like I grew up in Madison, Wisconsin, which is predominantly white, and I went to okay. like private school, which was 99% white, and I was the one girl who was bringing the diversity to the whole school. So and, okay, and there, your experience of white people is? Is that, I mean, they were curious about me. They wanted to get to know me because mm -hmm. everyone had their families and I was living alone. Like, I was okay. living with my host family. So they always, like, try to, inv like, try to invite me to Thanksgiving, Christmas. So, yeah, people are friendly and nice. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it was because they were white people. I yeah, think it was because they're, they're people. They're more, yeah, but it's, okay, yep. And I think, but on average, Americans are pretty friendly. But nonetheless, the lots of people around the world are very friendly. But yeah. Americans are at the upper, more friendly kind of area, us group. Yeah, okay. But you'd say... At the same time, though, you don't really see a. I'm here, people. There's not like really a great difference. It's Americans. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Brooke, how how do people in Nigeria before you came here? How do, when you think about coming here and being with white people and like black Americans, like how do people distinguish? Do they, do people like to what degree do people see black Americans as just white white Amer You know. Like, they don't make a distinction. Okay. Uh, so first off, for black Americans, most of us, especially in the middle class Nigerian home, we grew up watching CNN, uh, BBC, Sky, like mostly, mostly Western media. Mm -hmm. So every time we see images of our country, our people is often bad. But a few times we see images of black people, is of black Americans mm -hmm. and it's like oh entertainment you know popular actors athletes so black Americans kind of like form like a 
positive image of black people. Like that was like the only positive image of black people we saw in the media. Mm -hmm. And oh, you mean p p people who were in entertainment and yeah, performance yeah. arts? Okay, okay. Because otherwise, you see negative images. Yeah, mostly when every time we saw about Africa in whole, it's mostly oh, donates to this or some kid on on the news that's yeah. malnourished. But I do want to point out about the, uh, you said something about racism. Yeah. So for Nigerians especially, from my class, from lower class to middle class from, from where I am now, uh, for racism, we didn't only like think white people. Because mm -hmm. we have a lot of, we've had a lot of experiences. We've had racism from Arabs, we've had racism from... Dude, wait, hang on one second. Yo, yo, can you stop talking? Really? Thanks, man. He's, now he's talking about your people, bro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him throw you under the bus. All right, go ahead. Tell so, us about the Arab, the racist Arabs. So, we've, so we have a lot of Arabs in the country, and we also have a lot of Indians and a uh -huh. lot of... Uh, Chinese people too, mm -hmm. and our experiences with them a lot, most times are very racist, like they think we're inferior to them. Mm -hmm. that, so when we think about racism in general, it wasn't just white people. Mm -hmm. okay. It was basically almost everybody against us. Okay. So when I came to the US and I heard of uh, POC as a term. People of color. People of color, it's like, it's like a united kind of alliance between every minority, it was kind of like a shock because from where I'm coming from, we haven't had this united theme with Got you. Yep. Yeah, other people of color that, oh, we all suffering racism against white people or from white people or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. So this is like, so then this is really interesting, right? You're seeing like how, like here in the United States, if you're an American in particular, we, we have this sense of like that our, this vision of the way we categorize racial groups and so on, like it just defines everything about life, but it doesn't define thing about, it doesn't define most of the world. It's a very unique perception or a way of seeing things here. So do people, so when you think about black Amer, you know, so here you have African Americans, right? You know, African American, do you, do, we can come back to this and have another class on it. It would be really interesting to have a conversation between Africans and African Americans. But like, because I, I, cause my, what, how distinctly do you do people on average see African Americans? Like how distinct are they from white Americans? Let me just stick with black and white. So first off, we know we're different from African Americans. Okay. And then, obviously, white Americans are different from African Americans. And I would be lying to say we haven't seen stereotypes of African Americans, especially in our media. Mm -hmm. And is a lot of times, sometimes they're portrayed as good, like popular actors and the likes, and sometimes they're portrayed as like really bad, like uh, robberies, murders, a lot. Mm -hmm. So. I think from my, from my limited view of uh -huh. African Americans before coming to the U.S., that was probably it. It was like the good side, they are big, uh, they represent black people in a good image sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes they represent black people in a bad image. Okay. So, so, so let me ask this. This will be my last question to you. So like, is there a converse, to what degree, wh where, where's the conversation about black Americans that's like, who want to really identify with Africa, but they're Americans? It's like, like, dude, you're an African. And like, you, you're an American. Like, what's this stuff about African-American? Like, whatever. Is that a conversation among a lot of Nigerians? I will say, uh, we, we do like encourage a lot of, like back home, a lot of African Americans to come visit or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. see the culture and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, but to say that we're like the same people is kind of like 
bizarre. Now, yes, we know that from history, they did descend from West Africa's prim primarily Nigeria and Ghana. We, we know of this. Yes, but like, we feel like they've made a history for themselves and a culture uh -huh. for themselves that uh -huh. we are now distinct groups. Got you, yeah. got you. So you're, so it's a distinct world. It's like you're from the continent. They're not from the continent. They're from the United States. Yes, the okay, Americans. Got you. Yeah, they're Americans. They got an American passport. And so, okay, I got you. Um, it, so it, it's really gets complex then. Like all of these kinds of conversations. So what, what I'm doing, what we're doing here, what I'm doing in this particular conversation right here is just like jamming things up a little bit, trying to like stir up the pot so that we start thinking about things in really complex ways. Because when I think about race relations, like, and so for Stella here, like I'm thinking about you and I'm going to have you back up a different time and in, like in a, in a few weeks on a different thing. But like when I think about this conversation, I think this is really complex. And, and, and people have very different perspectives on it. You, like, one, one is the United States isn't the center of the world, <laughs> right? It's not the center of the world, man. And it's not the center, and we don't define all relationships between race, ethnic, and cultural groups. Okay, all right, cool. Hey, thanks. Yeah, thanks, man, appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. You can just leave, leave, the, leave the mic there. All right, man. Thanks. Hey, that was great. Y'all were great. Um, what's that? Hey, hey, can you all, can you do me a favor? Can you just make sure that you um, pull your phones out and turn your Wi-Fi off? Really? Can you do that? We got to, we have to cut the Wi-Fi in here. All right. Can you, um, seriously, just pull your phone out and cut your Wi-Fi. Dude, everyone. All right. Thanks, man. Good? Got it? All right, man. Hey, can you, can you introduce yourselves? Hey, everybody. Um, you saw me here first day of class. Um, but yeah, my name is Aditya. Um, you can call me Adi, if that's difficult to pronounce. Adi. Adi, yeah, that works. Um, right. I'm from Mumbai, India, and I'm a senior here, majoring in industrial engineering with two minors. Wait, but you're, but you're American. No, I'm Indian. Oh, I'm fuck. proper Indian. <laughs> Like, born and brought up in India. Oh, wait, hang on, man. No, hang on, dude. Wrong I'm person? Gonna, I'm going to kick you off the stage. Uh, can I get, I need, sorry, dude, I'll bring you back up. There's two yeah. times I brought you up and I kicked you off. Hang on. Can I, I need someone who's Indian from the U.S. Dude, no, not you. Who's Indian from the U.S.? Who's, who's got, dude, not, not yet. Bro, you from the U.S.? Indian? All right, come on, man. Do you lift, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How much can you bench? Uh, I've ripped up my left shoulder, so probably like 180 only. 180? Maybe 200. All so right. Not much. All right. A couple years ago, I, I was benched 190. 315, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. 315. All right, dude. Go ahead, man. Where are you from? Or you what's your name? Well, my name's Neil, but you told me American Indian, so I was born and raised here, but both my parents... Wait, hold it. Hold it. Neil. Neil. Yeah. yeah, so I'm born and raised here, but both my parents... We're born and raised in India. Okay, where'd you grow up here? Uh, Nazareth, like Lehigh Valley. Yeah? Okay. All right, man. So, wait, what's your name again? Neil. Neil? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm Mark. I, I'm from Hickory, North Carolina, so middle of nowhere. I'm double majoring in political science and econ, and I'm a sophomore. And, and if you're wondering if Mark loves tacos, dude, you like tacos? Yeah, not authentic. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm offended by that. All right. <laughs> it's all right, dude. You don't have to like tacos. All right. Um, I'm Tay. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm a sophomore, and I'm a photographer. You are a photographer. All right, dude. Here's what I want. Can you two guys just go out? Come, come here. Go, just go through that door real fast. I'll come get you in a hot minute. Yeah, you can just turn the mics off and I'll, I'll get you in a hot minute. There, Nitty, yeah, can you just wa walk him out? All right, here's what I want you to do, ready? Come sit over here in front of the camera. And here's, here's, what, I want, here's what I want you to do. So you grew up, how do you identify, black? 
I mean, I mean, my father is from Jamaica, so mm -hmm. that's kind of like a big part of my identity. I kind of grew up like with the culture, but mostly like compared to a actual Jamaicans, um, I'm American. So yeah, I'm you're just pretty black. American. Yeah, I'm just, just black. black. Yeah. You like jerk chicken? I mean. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude. dude, that's what I thought when I asked Mark about tacos. He's like, I'm full. I'm 100 percent Mexican. I'm like, dude, what kind of tacos? You like? I don't know tacos. I'm like, oh, I like hamburgers. I'm like, all right, dude. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to look in the camera and answer this question. Speaking from your personal experience, mm -hmm. your experience, mm -hmm. okay, um, in all your interactions with white people from early on, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and you get this has to come from you. You can't speak about what other people say. You can't you can't use any of the bullshit that's <laughs> out there. Right. What I want you to um, what have you learned about white people? Uh, and, 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 what, <laughs> and you can say, talk to all the white people in class and you can say, OK, white people, here's what I've learned about you. Um, uh, what have I learned about white people? Um, okay, I'm gonna talk hey, about- wait, can, can I just say something, by the way? <laughs> Is this not awesome? Here's this woman who's, I'm just black from Philly, gets an opportunity to tell all you white people <laughs> what she's learned about you, okay? Is that awesome? Like, I love this class. All right. What I've learned about white people. Yeah, dude. Like, in my no, whole all life. All these white people, you're going to tell them. Tell them like, all, man. in my whole entire life. Yeah, just what you've learned, man. Dude, don't, you're ready, right? You're ready? You're ready to hear it? <laughs> yeah, look at that guy um, right there, man. He's like, bring it on, man. I don't know. Okay, what I learned about white people my entire life, being black. No, what you've learned from your experience. My, ooh. Not from your friends and your parents. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. You come sure on. you want that? Yeah, yeah, dude. You have eight. You, how many? How old are you? Um, I'm 19 years old. Dude, you're 19. You have 19 years of experience. You have lots of, you've lots of white, you met lots and lots of white people. So what have you learned from your experience? Um, well, uh, uh, I learned that white people are passive aggressive, like very passive aggressive. Yeah. Like how so? What do you mean? Um, I would say in my experiences, um, I don't know. Uh, so like my identity, how I present myself, it's kind of like people aren't sure how to approach me. Mm -hmm. So usually one, I get misgendered pretty often. So like when people come up to me, they be like, excuse me, sir. I'm like, do I look like a guy? I don't know. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So I don't know. I just feel like, cause uh, growing up elementary school I went to a predominantly white school and then it kind of the demographic changed as I got older I went to the same like okay wait hang area. on then what'd you learn about white kids when you were young um did you interact with a lot of white kids what'd you learn yeah. about us uh they I don't want the have a lot of questions they have a lot of questions okay cool white people are curious this yeah. is the white people have you noticed this is a theme here we're very curious that's a good thing all right what else <laughs> um and mm, I don't know. See, the area that I grew up, it was kind of like just white people for a long time until it started changing. So okay. So what? So how? What else? They're curious. What else did you learn about white people? Uh. uh um. They often tend to. Okay. So they often you, tend you, to you white people. You offend, often. Tend to, uh, they tend to offend you and then when you like say oh that was offensive they're like well why like why offensive okay so we're curious in other words <laughs> i yeah. guess all right so all right that's cool. like I, I, that's all i got well how do people, wait do people do you does your experience of white people is they they that we we offend you by accident or we're trying to do it or we trip over ourselves um, or like Sometimes it does feel like, like some of the stuff that I'm asked is like, kind of like, why are you asking me? Yeah. Cause it's like, there's Google, like right there. You could just okay, type okay. it. 
Yeah, but you seem really approachable. I would ask you questions. Really? That's so yeah. funny that you say that because every time, like, my freshman, my freshman year coming here, um, I sat down in my English 15 class in predominantly white school. So, of course, there's going to be a lot of white kids. And I'm sitting there, and all the kids start coming in. I got there pretty early. And then nobody wants to sit next to me. Uh, that's because they're afraid, man. Were you wearing what? those cool overalls and the kicks, man? Uh, nah, it's kind of like more laid back, like Adidas sweatpants. So right. regular, they were probably like trash. Sneakers, All right, okay. Like. All right, so listen, let me go with. Um, so what you've learned from white people. You haven't learned though. It seems. It, is it like just pretty? I don't know. There's like this. It's like there's this wall between. Okay, the reason people don't sit next to you. One reason is because we feel like there's this big wall here. It's like, oh, you're so. I'm so different. I can't sit next mm. to you. I maybe can't. So like, what do you? What do you want to say to white people? <laughs> no, what kind thing? What do you want to say? You've already told us. We're really curious. That's a good thing. Stay curious. Um, what do I want to say to white people? By the way, you're, can I just tell you something? So you're the first person all semester I'm like touching. Right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm really touching because I feel so, you're so approachable. I feel like you're, I feel like we're just friends. Like you're mm -hmm. going to, I'm definitely going to recruit you to work for me because you just <laughs> have that energy. So I'm just like, all right, man, what do you got? <laughs> yeah, you have that. So I like it. Thank you. Um, okay. The question, what do I want to say to white people? Yeah. Um, I don't know. When you see a black person, don't be so amazed. Amazed. Yeah. I feel like white people, even if they come, like even people, white people from Philly, they're like, it's like still like some amazement when talking to me because I, I got my experience. Can I explain what that is? Dude, can I? Can I speak white people? Can I just say what I think a part of that is? Can I? Bro, can I say it? Are we good? <laughs> All right, man. I think it's just because we really are curious and we're really, really wanting to not be racist. And we really want to have friendships and friends with people from lots of different backgrounds. And I understand that. But sometimes it's like really uncomfortable like when you were talking yeah. in class about like the really liberal woke yeah, yeah like yeah. class of people and they're like i don't know it's uncomfortable because it's like you're trying too hard and yeah, okay. it gets okay. to a certain point where it doesn't feel genuine anymore so now i feel like like it's satire like you're sitting here you. and you're trying to like to like okay, like, okay, oh you're you. so cool bro like, duh, 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 i got like, you okay i got you okay so here it is hey nitty are you wait where'd you go hey can you get one of them yeah just bring one just bring one person in so here's what i want you to do you you're a photographer right yes i want you to take the next week or two and i want you to do a photo shoot of white people around campus i just want you to take i want they're going to look at me like no, i'm no, crazy no, no it's all good no 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 I want you to take six to eight photos of white people that just feel like really show what a Penn State white person is. <laughs> All right? From your eyes. From your eyes. Tay the photographer. Okay? <laughs> okay, Sam. All right, I got you. And then we're going to put them up on the screen. <laughs> All right? You got like two weeks. I got you. Don't have anybody like doing bong hits and stuff. All right? <laughs> no, nah, I got you. All right, have a seat, man. Thanks. Yo, by the way, that was cool. All right. All right, bro. Have a seat, man. Here's what I want you to do. Speaking from your personal experience, okay? And growing up in Hickory Rock. What is it? Hickory? Yeah, Hickory, North Carolina. <laughs> Dude, in the middle of nowhere. What have you learned? What have you learned from your personal experience about white people? White Americans? Um, well, in high school. No, so this, like, and so again, be like really clear. Here or like? No, high school as a child okay. what if you if you if you're you're speaking to the rest of the world and you're saying like hey rest of the world let me tell you i'm mark the mexican dude who doesn't really like tacos but that's okay i want to tell you what i've learned about white people i mean the majority of them they were like extremely welcoming i mean if i ever had any things of racism i wouldn't have noticed i would just be like oh i guess that person's having a bad day and i would just go on with my life
Okay. But um. So the, welcoming. Yeah, like the majority of my friends are white. Um, back home, I do have some friends that are African American and Mexican as well. But yeah, I mean. And what does that welcoming look look like? Okay. By the way. This is not, usually, you, you know, you take a class on race and race relations, and the thing we're going to do is we're going to start right in with inequality, and we're going to talk about all the ways in which white people are racist, and we're going to talk about that too. But, but that's not where we're starting here. Like here, okay, so what does the welcoming look like? It's, I mean, some of it could be the stereotypical Southern hospitality, mm-hmm. but also some of it could just be just talking and making jokes, like having friends in a class in general, um, just overall friendly, fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Like we would go hang out and even older people who were like, you could assume that they're conservative because especially in the South, yeah. um, my part's all conservative. I looked up the like, thing. It's like, how many Confederate flags do you see when oh, you walk out your front On door? the highway, there's like a hundred, a hundred foot flag <laughs> just going. Mm-hmm. But like my town, Hickory, is like 89% conservative, but I haven't felt like any racism whatsoever. Uh-huh. And if, like, it, like it, what I said, like, if I did, I didn't notice. Okay. All right. I mean, it so, wasn't blatant, like, oh, you should insert out of pocket, like, thing here. Like, you should do this, you should do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, yeah. Um, have you ever shot an AR 15? No. Yeah. I haven't shot a gun. Wow. Seriously? Yeah. Damn, dog. You're from Hickory? North yeah, Carolina. That's what I said. Yeah. All right, man. What, what, el- what else have, one more thing. Like, what else have you learned about white people? It really depends where you go. And some of them could just be curious. And others are just, like I said, welcoming. Like, they don't, they, I, I don't think they view me as Mexican. I just see that they view me as another person. And I view them as a potential friend. So, in... And is that, is that, that's fine, like, you don't need people to say, like, hey, I, you know, recognize my Mexican identity kind of thing. You don't need that. Oh, I don't, no, I don't need, like, any of that validation or anything like that. I'm just, like. Other people do, though, right? Yeah. Other Mexicans or Mexican-Americans. Yeah, and and that's fine. But me, personally, I'm just, like, if you treat me with kindness and if you treat me like a human being, then we'll be perfectly fine. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Which I think is really important, right? Because you see what you're hearing what we're hearing in here and tape before you, what we're hearing are lots of different interesting perspectives, right? And the reason I'm starting the class in this spot is because I want you to begin to break down some, I want everyone to start breaking down some of the stereotypes that we have about different groups and different people and stuff. Yeah. All right, dude. Um, Thanks, man. Dude, I'm ready. We're ready for him. Thanks, man. Listen, man. Go. Thanks, bro. Just. All right, you ready, bro? Hang on, have a seat. Dude, seriously, you only. Wait, you can only. Forget about when your when your arm is not hurt. Uh, how much can you press? I don't know. I've been testing Max in like two all right. years. All right. Okay, man. I'll get back to you on that. All right, like, get back week, to me, yeah. bro. What in your experience as an Indian dude, mm-hmm. growing up? Yeah. Um, being here, what have you learned about white Americans? Um. I mean, Hold I feel like close. a lot of them are like pretty like uh, shy to like come up to you often because you're obviously like I grew up in like a white area, so like Nazareth, a lot of people know it's like super, like 99% white like the, like the other person said, but I feel like uh, you you people expect us to be quiet and shy shy and like uh, who's us uh, South, South Asians? Uh, yeah. Okay. More specifically South Asians, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they expect us to be like quiet and like mellow and not really social. But I feel like once you like find your group of people, like we, like we have to specific, specifically go out of our way to find more friends. I feel like nobody really comes up to us because we're yeah. like known as be, known to be more weirder. Yeah. Okay. Sense. So wait. So you find white people are 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 a little bit more reluctant to engage yeah. you. Which I guess because the stereotype sometimes fits us. Like, What's like, the stereotype? Uh, the quiet, shy, mellow. Like uh-huh. doesn't really be socialized that much. And it, and is and in that sense, are white people different than other black and brown people? black and brown americans or is it um, a, what is this a, is this a white thing or is it an american thing for me mainly it's a white thing because like, that's the area that i grew up in uh-huh but for here i feel like it's different because a lot of people come up to you no matter what um but 
back at home at least, I would have to go out of my way to introduce myself at any public event or a park or as a kid or something like that. Uh -huh. Compared to here, where everyone's more open because it, it's like more mixed here compared to any other college or any other place I've been. So, so okay. So what I'm hearing is that white white people on on average, right? Um, mm -hmm. I mean, white people are friendly. Yeah. They're curious. I, yeah, they, I feel like once once they open up and realize that you're not shy or like whatever and like mellow or quiet, uh, they'll, they'll they'll open up, ask questions, and like like spark their curiosity. Okay. All right. So, cool. Yeah. Um, and racism, because we associate when we start thinking about r r race, the like these in the United States, it's like we're talking about white racism. It's like is your which? So I'm. Mine's hang weird, on, so we, and we have three more minutes. By the way, go ahead. So mine's weird. So like I was known as a guy that like I could take racism as a joke in high school. So if anybody says something funny back to me, I just go like two notches back at them. Yeah. Which I'm obviously not, not going to say that here, but like it, I, I had a friend that was like. It always like says like the racist stuff to me as a joke and like we're super close and I just say like stuff like back so I never I, I never took it to heart but I can understand, understand how some people do take it to heart yeah but personally I never saw, saw an issue with racism towards me or anything like that because mm. mm -hmm. it's like it's wait wait, like, wait hang on yo hey wait hang on man hang on dude it's, it's, fuck, it's fucking annoying isn't it that's all right no it's know. not it's it's fucking annoying Dudes. Damn, like. Yeah, thanks. Okay. But yeah, like, I feel like uh, the main thing is like a lot, of, a lot of times they're jealous of what we have. Like, they always, like the classic ones, like the gas station thing. But until like high school, I never really, I kept it quiet, like how much money you make from that. Until yeah. they found out how much money we do make from owning a gas station, they shut up really quickly. Uh huh. Like COVID, <laughs> like COVID year, I think our store made like 400K just from that one year alone. Wait, your store? So your parents yeah. have a... So my dad's a chemi major, and my mom now runs the store. Mm -hmm. So my dad only runs it on weekends. But like COVID year alone, we made, we profited 4 k And when people find, find out about those numbers, they were like, oh, they're not, they're not like the poor Indians that people think they really are, that they really think they are, yeah. until they realize, like, we know what we're doing. We just keep it quiet. We don't have to, like, boast about it or stuff like that. Uh-huh. Wait, they, so hang on. In your gas station convenience store? Convenience store. Not, doesn't know gas. Convenience store? Yeah. You profited... 400k yeah damn man i gotta get in on that <laughs> it's worth a lot of money yeah all right okay cool um to, final question this is gonna be really complex though mm -hmm. do you when you see white people do you immediately go to like think about class like rich white people middle class poor white people does that come to your mind a lot or not um not really because i feel like i'm definitely higher upper class so every either around me or obviously lower, I'm not, not trying to be like a dick when I say that, but like, um, I don't only really win this class as a college, because everyone's equal to me, because you might be bad, you might not have a lot of money, but be good in something else, okay. which makes I you better you. than me in, in terms of richness or wealth or whatnot like that. All right, man. Hey, listen. Um, <laughs> I got these really cool cookies here. Check this out. I'm going to It says Social 119 on it, man. It's fucking awesome. I got, I have, no, hang on. I have, I have six of them. And I'm going to, and you can buy them for 10 bucks. And $60, I'm sending the money over to Afghanistan, right? So I need six people to get a $10 cookie. All right, we'll see you.